So just over a year ago, I decided that I was gonna start putting myself and my artwork out into the world. And I was super nervous before I started making videos that people weren't gonna like me or my artwork. And I am so happy to announce this weekend, I hit a million followers on TikTok. I cannot believe it. I'm so grateful for you guys. I can't wait to see what we make next. I love you so much. Hooray! About a year ago, um, just over a year ago, I, um, it was July of last summer, I just decided that I wanted to start putting myself and my artwork um, somewhere. So I originally was thinking that I was gonna do like YouTube. I downloaded TikTok um, as a joke, right? Cause kids were like, oh, Mr. Bang, you would like, you'd love that. And I was like, oh, yeah, maybe. And, uh, and then decided like, hey, I could maybe make a 30 second video every day. Like that is a lot more reasonable than making a 30 minute video, um, you know, even once a week. And so, I just decided like, okay, I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I made, I, I remember where I was standing. So I made a, a video, uh, well, it was actually a video that I had saved in Snapchat um, that I had made like a year previous and it was uh, a coral sculpture. Um, so it was a bowl filled with um, ceramic corals. And I um, was like, you know, I'm just gonna post this. And it got 100,000 views. And I remember standing in my parents' garage like watching the views go up and I was like, oh my God, this is like, this is the one. This is the one. Obviously I was born without a right hand. Um, and um, so I get a lot of like make a hand comments and like a lot of, you know, a lot of people who are curious and things like that. And now that I have a fan base, it's interesting. Like often before I can respond to comments, I have fans responding, right? And I'm like, oh my God, you're doing, like here you are doing God's work. Um, <laughs> so they're out there like answering questions and like hitting it super hard. Um, and it's just wild. Like I just never, I just never imagined um, that that would happen. Well, really, I feel like made my channel sort of take off was my Disney series that I did. So I did a series of sculptures from Disney movies, and I have a blue picture um, that when I do a series, I I have little slips of paper, and then I pull things out of um, pull things out of the picture, and then I have people comment. So for instance, I did so my Disney series. I would pull out like. A little Mermaid and then people would comment what they would want to see so I try to um, I try to plan videos that will initiate and engage kids have sort of this like intimate knowledge of TikTok right so they like really get it um, because they're on it so much so they were really I mean they were really really invested and super super excited I am working on an astrology series right now and that's going um, that's going super well we're almost done with that and then like I said I really love doing um, series so I'm hoping to um, I'm hoping to continue doing that I would love to use TikTok as a way um, to crowdsource content for artwork to do um, like gallery shows and things like that that's something that is like a dream of mine um, but for right now I'm just like going with the flow and um, and it just feels really good to use TikTok as like a virtual gallery space right like I can make things and then it's immediately yeah seen. I would say just do it like it was really scary before I started making videos like it is really daunting to put yourself out there in a meaningful way um and i mean you feel so vulnerable um or you can feel so vulnerable and so i, I think like the only way to get over that is just to do it um one of my favorite quotes um is if you hear a voice inside of you saying that you can't paint then by all means paint and that voice will be silenced and that is vincent van gogh and i uh, remember thinking that as i was like before i started i was like a cat like I'm not gonna do this. Like, why would I do that? Like, no one's gonna wanna watch. You know, like you have all those, like that self doubt. And I was like, no, I'm, I'm doing this. Like the only way to get through that um, sort of fear of making is to make. Um, so that would be my advice is just to do it. Like start doing it. And if you wanna, I mean, if you want a successful channel um, and you really wanna build it up as like a brand, um, it's really important to be consistent, post videos um, often, regularly, establish a fan base, um, like establish a niche um, that will help you build a fan base.